Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of representing multiplication and division problems. This is standard 3.5b in the great state of Texas, and we're using number 9 off the 2017 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video. See if you can work this out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have uh, a problem with Jean. She's got 42 mushrooms, and she wants to put them into six salads. She wants to put the same number of mushrooms in each salad, which strip diagram shows how to find this. So we've got a few things working here. First, when, we, when we're looking at the same number in each, same number, that is giving us a clue that we are dealing with equal groups. Equal groups. Are typically lead us to multiplication and division. So these strip diagrams are a part of a strip diagram. They don't necessarily have the total, they just have all the parts. And so A, B, C, and D gives us four different options on uh, are they parts of 7, of 6, of 42. D is also 7, but there's a few more parts. Well, rather than starting with the answers, let's start to see if we could just make sense of the problem on our own. So Gina has 42 mushrooms to put into six salads. So I'm just going to draw some salad bowls. I'll just do two rows of three. So here we go. I've got my six salads and I've got 42 mushrooms and I need to make sure that I put the same number in each. So if I don't know a multiplication or division fact that has 42 and six, what I can do is I can just put one in each and make it even until I run out. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So six times two or two times six is twelve. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. So three times six is going to be eighteen. I'm up to twenty-four now. And so let's see, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty. 8, 29, 30. So that's always good to know. I've got five sets of six, and that's going to be 30. And I still have some left. I don't know if it's going to be that much left. So 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. There we go, 41 and 42. So I've used all 42 of my mushrooms. I have put them into six salads, and I'll just put the digit seven here. So what I did was I took my 42 mushrooms, divided them equally into six salad bowls, and it ends up with seven mushrooms in each. Some of you might have known that fact, and you might have thought to yourself, six times how many equals 42? That would have worked if you knew that. Seven, that would have given you at least the beginning of an answer. And there's um, also two other multiplication, or two other facts, one multiplication, one division. And so we could do this, and we can do box or unknown times six equals 42. So how do we turn that into one of these strip diagrams? Well, each of these boxes are going to represent one of our bowls. And so I'm going to go ahead and just knock off D, because if you take a look at it, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six. You've got seven groups of seven. So that's seven times seven equals 49. This has got six groups, C, but it is six times 42, which is 252. We don't have that many mushrooms. We've got 42. So we're left with uh, six sixes or six sevens. And so... Uh, this one, six groups of six, that's close but not quite. It's going to be 36, and if you got the wrong answer, you might have chosen this one just because you saw the six, but there's six salads. doesn't necessarily mean there could be. doesn't necessarily mean there are six mushrooms in the salad. This is six groups of seven, and that gets us back to our 42 mushrooms, and that goes to this problem we worked out right here. So that means our answer is going to be A.